Did you hear about the dog who went to a garden party? He came home with a bark full of laughter because he thought the hydrangeas were hilarious, but his owner didn't find it funny when the dog got sick. It turns out, hydrangeas are not a laughing matter for our canine companions. They're actually toxic to dogs. Who knew, right? It's a jungle out there, folks, and not all of it's friendly to our furry friends. Recent articles have highlighted the importance of being aware of both indoor and outdoor plants that pose a danger to our pets. Take, for instance, the golden pothos, a popular houseplant known for its heart-shaped leaves. It's like the femme fatale of the plant world, beautiful but deadly. If your dog decides to have a nibble, they could end up with oral irritation, intense burning, and excessive drooling. And let's not forget about the deceptive milkweed, a common garden plant. While a monarch butterfly might call it home for dogs, it's a one-way ticket to an upset stomach or even worse, heart problems. Now don't go ripping out every plant in your garden just yet. There are plenty of pet-friendly alternatives out there. Take the Schlumbergera, also known as the Christmas cactus. It's as festive as it is harmless. Or consider the bamboo palm, a tropical plant that's safe for Fido to sniff to his heart's content. What about the inside of your home, you ask? Well, there's no need to live in a barren wasteland devoid of greenery. The peperomia, also known as the red prayer plant, adds a pop of color to any room and won't harm your pets. The spider plant, too, is a safe bet, and its long arching leaves might even remind your pooch of a fun, dangly toy. Before you bring any new plant into your home or garden, do a little research. Consult with your vet or check out resources from organizations like the ASPCA. And remember, even non-toxic plants can cause mild upset stomachs if eaten in large quantities. So, encourage your pets to stick to their kibble and leave the greenery to the humans. In closing, while we love our leafy friends, some of them, like the sago palm or the azalea, are more like leafy assassins when it comes to our pets. So keep an eye on your pooch around plants, and remember, not all that glitters is gold and not all that's green is good. So keep your pooch away from these leafy assassins.